Right. Namaste. Welcome to our seventh session. I think in that invitation or in that notification, there was a mistake. This is session number seven. Right. So uh, I hope you've been practicing regularly. And I do trust that you've been seeing some benefits. Yadi kuch aap loon ke observation maaya, to kindly share kare. And this will be recorded and maybe shared also with others. So please just share what, what has genuinely come in your experience. Obviously, we don't want any exaggeration, but I also would request you not to miss on some of the important things that you may have experienced or feel that this program has been used to be used. So, let's also include it. Let's start with Athar, since he was here earlier. Um, so, one of the major changes that I have uh, come across after I've started doing this is that I've become more calm and less anxious during my classes. And whenever I'm not understanding something during the class, I do belly breathing and it's uh, it becomes better and I'm able to concentrate better. And also, I've been uh, a lot more relaxed and I've been yawning a lot. <laughs> yes, you mentioned that before. Hmm. Other than as that... Long, as long as that yawning does not take your attention away, for example... No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. But then it's okay. It helps me. It helps me. Uh, it helps me, actually. It doesn't... Uh, okay. No, that's perfectly all right. No, no issues with that. Okay. So concentration, you mentioned there's an improvement in your concentration. You also mentioned that you are more calm and at peace. And these yes. are two major uh, improvements, which is good. Okay. Anything else? And uh, my allergies have improved significantly. Ah. I mean, it's, uh, it's a very big change because I used to have a very bad cold pretty often so mm. um, for the past two or three weeks i haven't been having excellent so also you remember that complete yogic breath that we work and then if you do them regularly especially if you are beginning to feel a little sniffy or a little if you find it a little hard to breathe or whatever a little blockage that helps okay very good anything else what about in the areas of sports what about in uh, for example in your understanding or whatever is going on in class and tuitions and so on? Well, um, I'm not good at maths, so uh, I can't say much about understanding. But mm -hmm. yes, uh, a little, it helps. Mm -hmm. And involuntarily, belly breathing, hota hai to it's, uh, it helps a lot. Mm -hmm. It helps me understand better. Mm -hmm. And have you also been able to use some of these techniques? For example, if you were feeling a little low or if you were feeling a little distracted or something was making you a little angry or if you don't mind my asking this, also, for example, when you have an urge, for example, to uh, to masturbate, I, I hope you don't mind my asking that. So are you able to control that better as well? I, I don't have the urge to do that. But mm. sure, uh, I I was I was pretty anxious because I wasn't understanding one topic, so mm. I started belly breathing and it helped. Ah, so you were able to understand a little better. Okay, excellent, very good. Thank you very much, Atar. Right, Ram. What about you, Ram? Namaste, Rajeshi. Ram. Uh, the 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 reason why I joined this course was to see if it could actually help me with my ulnar nerve compression, which I have because I uh, I have this from sitting in front of computer for long hours. Mm. So uh, I think on the third third session, like after practicing for a couple of sessions, so that I would mm. say maybe after. Uh, seven days roughly uh, I started seeing difference uh, usually I feel this tightness at my elbow here mm -hmm. I remember part. our initial conversation you'd ask me this and I told yes. you that I cannot guarantee this but yeah. once you start doing your breath work yes. I think you will get some relief so very good yeah I yeah I I especially the 
hand exercises the first one like mm. what we do mm. like in while while actually practicing this exercises first thing is mm. i see something is flowing from my hand actually at this point mm. Mm. Uh, could be more blood circulation i again i'm i don't know what's mm. happening inside my hand but like that's my mm. observation i mm. i have this sensation and like it frees my hand uh, it frees my hand especially this part elbow part um I would say like I I only ever since this class started I only had two or three times that stiffness that I'm talking about, but most of the time I I've been practicing. Uh, mm. You know there are some days there are intense where I do this breath work, mm. uh, where I do this breath work, uh, uh, but like uh, overall I've seen a good change uh, with my ulnar nerve compression. What first. Uh, like that's my first observation. And the second observation is, uh, if I if I work uh, uh, if I do the meditation and the vajrasana or if I'm sitting in vajrasana, mm -hmm. I, I never knew that I could sit in vajrasana for mm -hmm. so long. But like mm -hmm. that's that's something actually I feel like uh, some inner peace or like. I, see, I I kind of feel something is melting inside me. Mm. Uh, and I, I I've also been... Yeah. You mentioned a couple of times about you feeling a little teary, I know you had tears rolling yes. down. And, yeah. mm. and that's, I don't know, I that, that, that used to happen sometimes when I'm meditating. Mm. But like, the thing with that, the difference is with when I was doing that, when sitting in Admasan, like... Mm. Uh, and then uh, trying it, like I had to do that like 30, 40 minutes. But like after this hand exercises, when I sit in uh, this watch asan, mm -hmm. I think I'll just, ha I'll go into this mode in five, 10 minutes. Like I'm right on. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one difference. And it feels very, uh, mm -hmm. I think calm is the right word, not calm, peace, calm. but I think calm mm -hmm. is the right word. Which is so what I feel, yeah. yeah, like I feel calm and I can actually, mm -hmm. uh, when the course started for the first three or four sessions, my breath was going to Muladhara, I know I'm, I was mm -hmm. confident about it, but then I like one inhale, mm -hmm. this this I practiced actually pretty good. One inhale, I, I, I think I was concentrating more. Mm -hmm. One inhale, I am able to actually circle out mm -hmm. the whole mm -hmm. spine. Mm -hmm. Or circle mm. or oval it out mm. the mm. whole spine mm. uh, that was good difference and when I breathe so deep I actually mm. see my mind energizing I can feel it mm. like it's like uh, that, that kind of energies get pass it, passing through my mind what about uh, changes as far as your concentration levels are concerned clarity and so on noticing anything, uh, noticing when it comes to clarity uh, I, I I haven't observed much about the clarity part, but one thing I somehow I I recognize that I'm actually having that memory triggerings. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I I I can remember okay on like uh like some twelve years back this this thing happened. I I I had that from before, but I I've noticed that it has become even more uh powerful or something. I I I'm usually good with like for example dates. And like remembrance, but like in terms of that memory, I'm able to recollect it very well. Mm. Uh, Interesting. Like I was, yeah. Like there were a couple of incidents that happened recently, and I, uh, that was something new to me as well. So I think my memory wise, I think it's getting better. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. And uh, what about uh, your ability to deal with triggers? Or, you know, like anger and you know negative emotions. Have you noticed any changes there? Any changes there? Uh, personally, I'm not the kind of guy that expresses much, so it stays within inside me. Any feeling, any kind of feeling, I'm not a guy very expert. Yeah, who... Even so, but that negativity mm -hmm. inside also is like poison. So if you're able to, yes. you know, work it out of your system faster. Anyway, yeah, go on. Yeah. I I I kind of feel like that that is melting that melts away when I'm actually practicing this because we like I mean for us we need to we need to have that we need to take that out of system at some point 
we take out in a very aggressive ways. That for mm -hmm. sure has changed. Mm -hmm. uh, I think walking away has been really easy. Mm -hmm. This, this mm. technique actually makes the walking away very easy. Excellent. It's not like we're running and we are afraid and we're running away from a situation, but it's like uh, it's not worth it. Let's it go. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is, see, in life, time and energy are limited. So if you can allocate your time and energy towards those things that you wish to focus on, then your life will be much more fulfilling, rewarding. Otherwise, if you get involved in unnecessary drama, etc., you'll waste your time and energy, which means your goals, those things that fulfill you, will stay out of your reach. So by doing this, by walking away from these kind of situations and emotionally walking away, you actually create a situation where you are stacking the coins or what's the term? Stacking the chips in your favor. I think that's how they say it. Stacking the chips in your favor, <laughs> so which is good. Okay, very good. Anything else, Ram? Before I uh, end the recording, because then we'll continue with the rest of our program. I think that is it. Like is that it? Okay. 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 Great. Thank you very much, Atharv. Any last word in case you miss something or if anything is there you wish to share? Yeah. Thank you so no, much. I I'll think... end. Yeah. Yeah. Go I on. I think I summed it up. You summed it. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much. So let's stop the